Hi, I'm Blue. And I'm Serenity. And this is our LEGO Star Wars Battle Story, Breakfast of Champions. Wouldn't it be awesome if Anakin won the Boon to Eve pod race with cereal? Oh yeah, that'd be amazing. Wait, what? Cereal? Yep. It starts on the morning of the Boon to Eve Classic Pod Race. Anakin is so excited, he forgets to eat breakfast. Oh no. His mom will be all like, eat your breakfast, sweetie. And he's like, no, I gotta race up some Bulba guy who's a cheater with bombs and stuff. <laughs> His racer is way bigger than Anakin's. Anakin pretty much needs a miracle. It's a bull with those bombs at everybody! <laughs> but Anakin would take the parts from the exploded pods and make his pod big and awesome too. Weird, right? No. Genius! And when Sababa throws a bomb at Anakin, surprise! Steer all up in his face, man! Now that looks like a tie! What do the judges think? by the cereal, and the winner is Anakin. Anakin's so happy, and Saboba is a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. So, you know what you call a pod race victory first thing in the morning? Uh, I don't know. The breakfast of champions. The end. <laughs> Hi, I'm Garrett, and this is my LEGO Star Wars Battle Story, The Battle of Naboo. Wouldn't it be awesome if Anakin were already Darth Vader, only little? R2, get us off this autopilot. It's going to get us both killed. He has to blow up the droid control ship and save Naboo. He's the best pilot in the galaxy. I have you now. Pew, pew, pew! Droids don't stand a chance against young Vader. Spinning, that's a good trick. Pew, pew, pew! He's gonna crash. Oh no! Whew. He landed in the main hangar. Good thing he brought his lightsaber. Awesome! Whew, whew, whew. Hero landed. Battle droids fire with all the blasters. Impressive. Uh oh. Take this, and this! It's the main reactor. I've got to use the force. Let's get out of here. Now, this is bar racing. Victory! Sophia, and, and this, this is our LEGO, LEGO Star Wars, Wars Battle Story, Jungle Battle Hijinks. Wouldn't it be awesome if the droids kicked the clones' butt? Not if they kicked the droids' butt first. It's the middle of the Clone Wars. The clone army searches the jungle for the evil droids. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Your clones walk right into my trap. Open fire! <laughs> The droids fell for the cardboard switcheroo trick. Clone army, advance! The droids will destroy them! Now the droid ships attack! But the clone ship is for Jedi all along. We bounce the lasers back. Well then, one of the droids has secretly come Dooku! He uses the force to rebuild the ships into... Super Droid 3000! <laughs> Victory is mine! The force push it into space. Truce? Okay, let's have a dance off instead. Hi, I'm Beth. And I'm Sydney. And, and this, this is, is our LEGO Star Wars, Wars Battle Story. Story. Yoda plus Wookiees equals unstoppable. Wouldn't it have been awesome if Yoda hadn't just watched the Battle of Kashyyyk, but if he had jumped down and joined the battle? <laughs> he could have used the Force to grab a droid gunship and throw it around like a frisbee. Boom. <laughs> And when the clone troopers turn bad, 
Chewie could have used one of the clones as a club oh, oh, ah. to beat the others oh, down. Oh. Then Chewie would rally the other Wookiees to chase the clones away. Yeah, but the clones would jump into their ATAP and fight back. vehicle can match the power of the force, Yoda can build a giant tank and blast the ATAP to pieces. You're right. In this version, both sets of bad guys get defeated. No one can stop Yoda and the Wookiees. Then the Wookiees keep all the baddies in the zoo. That'll mess up Darth Sidious' plans big time. The end. Hi, I'm Cassie, and this is my Lego Star Wars battle story, Escape from Scarif. Wouldn't it be awesome if Princess Leia had to escape the Empire while her hyperdrive was broken? The Rebels have the Death Star plans. Now we have to get out of here. But Darth Vader is hot on the trail. I'll stop you. <laughs> Made it! Now let's get out of here! Go, go, go! Everyone to your battle stations! The rebels launched their ship, but now they're caught in a huge space battle! Pew, 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 pew! Let's jump to light speed! drive is broken. Maybe we can fly our way out of this battle. There's too many of them. Uh-oh. Time to get to work. Let's rebuild the hyperdrive. I hope this works. Star Wars battle story, The Hungry Imperials. Wouldn't it be awesome if Princess Leia and her rebel friends are getting chased by Darth Vader and his Star Destroyer, and the Star Destroyer is totally blasting Princess Leia's ship? It's crazy! Darth Vader catches up and uses a big claw to grab her ship. The rebels have a plan to escape, though, so they put up all these posters for free food because even the bad guys would fall for that. So the princess and the other rebels sneak off the ship and onto the Star Destroyer, while Darth Vader's troops blast their way onto the princess's ship. They see the posters and are like, whoa, free food? So the rebels sneak around the Star Destroyer and put up more free food signs and all the Imperial troops are going bonkers for some free food. But then they run into Darth Vader. But it was totally fine because his troops carry him off to where they think the free food is. Darth Vader is not happy about that. One of the Imperial guys comes over and is like, look sir, free food. Vader can't believe his troops are so silly and emptied the entire Star Destroyer onto the princess's ship. Meanwhile, r 2 uses his cool arm to tell the Star Destroyer to drop the princess's ship out. And then the rebels escape on the Star Destroyer. They totally won against the Imperials and they didn't even have to fight. That's my story. The end. I'm Cooper. And I'm Sabrina. And, and this, this is, is our Lego, Lego Star Wars, Wars Battle, Battle Story. Story. Death, Death Star Escape. Escape. Wouldn't it be awesome if... Luke and Leia had to get across a huge gap by stacking stormtroopers. Luke and Leia are on the run and need to escape the Death Star. But a bunch of stormtroopers are chasing them. Luke is all like, all right, we got to get across. Where's the grapple gun? I thought you had it. Uh-oh. We have to hurry. It's okay. Leia can just fly across. What? No. 
Princess Leia can't fly. Why not? Because... because she can't. I'll just use this jetpack. Is that big enough to carry both of them? <sighs> I guess not. Maybe they can jump across? No, that's such a silly idea. Then a stormtrooper attacks them. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're really trapped. Okay, I have an idea, but you have to give it a chance. What if... Fine. Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> I told you it would work. I have to admit, that was pretty awesome. You do have some great ideas. Ew, gross. Hi, I'm Boyo, and this is my Lego Star Wars battle story, a deadly Death Star eclipse. Wouldn't it be awesome if the Death Star was destroyed a little differently? Remember how the Death Star was gonna blow up the Rebel base? Well, not who blows the Death Star up first. So far, so good, Luke. But what if... Surprise! TIE FIGHTER ATTACK! Kaboom! And then everyone was like... You! 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 R2-D2 is like... Nope, I got this. And he's all... Double. She's down his torpedo! Time to take this battle station down, Jedi stop! Lasers are everywhere! And dun 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 in my Lego Star Wars battle story. Taking out the trash. Wouldn't it be awesome if the Rebels were just hanging out on Hoth thinking they had just found the best hiding spot in the galaxy? But then Darth Vader's annoying droid finds them anyway and tells Darth Vader. He sends down all these big walkers to catch the Rebels. But the Rebels were like, no, we don't want to get caught. So this giant epic snow battle starts and it's totally crazy. There's lasers and blasters and explosions. And then Luke and the pilots fly over and try blasting some stuff. But Luke realizes that the walker's armor is too strong for blasters. So he thinks of a different plan. But when they land to tell the other rebel soldiers his new plan, he sees that some of them are running away. And some were trying to pretend to be wampas to hide like a bunch of goofs. So Luke is like, alrighty, follow me guys. I got a better plan than this. So him and the other pilots head over to the rebel base. And Luke is like, come on, we gotta go to the garbage hangar. The other pilots would have been like, what? But then Luke was like, no time for questions. We have to build this old snow speeder into a garbage truck. So they get to work building this awesome flying garbage truck. And then they throw a bunch of old bananas in the truck and fly back out to the walkers. And Luke lands the big garbage truck by the feet and dumps out some bananas. And then the walker totally slips on the bananas. That got it. Luke flies around to the rest of the big walkers and takes them out too. And then the rebels escape since Luke took out those big walkers that were in the way. And that's my battle story, the end. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Lila. And, and this, this is, is our, our Lego, Lego Star Wars, Wars battle story. Han Solo, uh-oh. Do you remember that time on Cloud City when Han Solo was trapped in carbonite? Yeah, I feel bad for him. Wouldn't it have been cool if they had actually gotten him out? R2-D2 could have used his hacking skills and closed the door, and Boba Fett would have been stuck. 
Then Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and Lando would jump out and rescue Han. That wouldn't work. Boba Fett would destroy the door with his rocket and bring even more stormtroopers. But Boba Fett also has competition, and R2 could pit the bounty hunters against each other. No, too much chaos. Darth Vader wouldn't stand for that. He'd be like, hey, be scared. And then Lando would just hand Han back over again. They need a simpler plan. I think Leia should have used a thermal detonator. It would blow Slave One out of the sky. But Boba Fett would use his jetpack and fly away. And Han Solo would fall and be lost forever. I've got it! Luke should just nicely ask Boba Fett to take Han to Endor instead of Tatooine. Then the Ewoks can take care of him. Hold on! Why would Boba Fett just do what Luke asked? He asked with the Jedi mind trick. It's the nicest way to ask for anything. Ah, clever. I guess that'll work. Then they can use their cooking fire to melt Han free. I think he's ready. Oh. The end.